views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Super duper welcome. Welcome. I want to welcome. Welcome you to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. And uh, our network is Transformation Talk Radio. Every week, we get to bring on the most incredible co-host so that they can share what their message is, so that they can bring a perspective. And this is really something that you guys absolutely love. Um, The feedback we got from the last survey and some of the emails that uh, you all have sent us is you love the way we're doing this. And, you know, it is kind of different. Um, to be able to bring people on that are all about bringing the message powerfully to you. And today I get to have a great chat, you know, with my colleague, my friend, my co-host, Leslie Fontaine. Uh, Sheer alchemy is what she is all about. She's my co-host. And, you know, what I love about what we prepare is that, you know, based on a show we we have done previously, there'd be some kind of issue that may pop up like a tissue issue. And then when it pops up, Leslie's like, okay, we're going to talk about that next time. So today we're talking about healing the core wounds. You got to find out what that means, core wounds, the next level of abundance. And I got to tell you, I had a jolt of this this morning. You know, if I, if I were my stepmom right now and I, I was back in the day when we used to go to that Sunday church down there in some back country in Virginia, I'd be sitting there in the church saying hallelujah right now uh, because sometimes things happen in our lives and we wonder how did we get in it? And we don't spend a lot of time on all of the tools we have to move beyond it. You know, we said, woke up this morning, looked at my bank account. Oh, really? Minus $3,000? Well, wait a minute. It should have been a deposit. And we agonize over the story around that oh my god what's going to happen to me how do they make my mistake and then 6 30 in the morning and none of the banks are up and then you're sitting there and you're just going out of your mind or not or not so what is really going on is it anything to do with that or is that simply a weed is it simply a way for us to really pay more attention to the lesson that we're supposed to have you know as you guys know uh, Leslie uh, speaks all over the world. And, you know, part of, of, of what she does is helps all of us understand what is going on, not at the surface level of things, but really what's going on at the core issue. You know, what is it when we peel back the layers of crustiness around our hearts and our soul? What is it that's in there, embedded in there, that helps us move backwards instead of forward? She is a transformation catalyst, and she uses her intuitive and energetic gifts uh, to help all of us live the lives that we were born to manifest, whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pay into joy, from illness into health. You know, this is what she talks about, helping us understand how it happens, how to move through it, and how to live an amazing life. She invites an amazing, epically unbeatable team of ascended masters, archangels, into the conversation. So when you call into the show today, you're not just going to talk to Leslie. You're going to talk to her team. It's an arsenal. And the question is, how can you go wrong with all of that? So today, you'll get to speak with us about how these wounds are showing up in your life. What do you want to do to move beyond them? 
And, you know, do you believe that you actually can? So there's many, many things for us to talk about today, Leslie. Welcome. You know, it's great to have you here. Big, big topic. And it did come from our last show, didn't it? It did. And it (laughs) is a deep one. You know, I kind of like to look at the progression of things. A lot of the listeners have been through the law of attraction. They've been through... Uh, you know, think these thoughts, feel these feelings, and I'll be good. And then we hit those ones that we really don't want to tell anyone about. Some of them can feel embarrassing. Some of them we feel like, well, wow, you know, what if other people knew I had these feelings, thoughts, and experiences going on within myself? So I'm calling today the uh, graduation day. Let's go to the next level because the neat stuff about working with spirit, with source, with, um, you know, uh, yourself on this path that you're on is that once you've done, you know, the food, clothing, shelter business, there's more, right? Our soul craves more. Well, you know, when we crave more, I mean, you know, there's this idea that we're not supposed to have more. There's there's like a little information floating around in the world right now, you know, that uh, less True. is more. And, you know, I was talking to my my pastor And, you know, who is one of these guys that believes in more is more, that in the land of archangels and ascended masters and spiritual and universe and whatever you believe in, aliens, it doesn't matter. There's no such thing really as less Mm -hmm. in when it comes to what's available to us. But how do our wounds crank us up? And, you know, like today, that little story I shared was Mm -hmm. a real story. Right. Of how I woke up today. Exactly. Uh, and I was at a real pivotal point of how, how I was going to respond and react to that. Um, but there is a reason that we're talking about core wounds because yes. they're really different than some of the other surface scratches. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of times we feel like we're going backwards. You know, we feel like we've put out an impression in the world that, you know, we're these either teachers or examples in our workplace. And many of you have that that are listening today. You're one where many people look up to you. You've achieved some things, created some things for yourself. and, And so they're following in your path and they're beginning where you began, you know, with issues like food, clothing, shelter, jobs, promotions. Uh, et cetera, changing partners, playmates, all that stuff. And then when you begin to go deeper, you encounter these inner blocks within yourself that they don't look so good. They don't feel so good. And then we have this this moment of conflict, which is what do I do about this? Now, how do they show up? Just like Pat was saying, you know, that the dear old bank showed up today. Well, it can show up through, you know, a financial institution. It can show up through a job. It can show up through a loved one. And it's like someone pushing a button in us and, you know, we go, ow, or we get upset or we react. And instead of looking to that thing that hit the button, we then want to look within and go, what was it within me that reacted to that? What was the baseline deal within myself? And often it's this fear of not being taken care of. We're terrified that we will find out that we can't take care of ourselves, and that others won't take care of us. So if you look at most people who react in defensiveness, anger, tears, frustration, running away, hiding under the pillow, it's always that. And we come out once we somehow bolster ourselves back up with all of our old tools that we used to use to comfort ourselves. Well, and, you know, I love what you just said. I love that. Because I had that real moment. And isn't it interesting? This happens every time you pick a topic and we come in here and we have to do this. I, I've, I'm, stunned. It's mutual. I'm stunned by this. <laughs> I, I really am. You know, I went to bed. Uh, so this, I got to tell you, Leslie, this is two of these incidences. Is that the word? Incidences with my bank account in two days. Yesterday, it wasn't even from the bank. Uh-huh. It was from uh, a PayPal complete screw up thing and not their fault either but you figure i'll handle that Mm -hmm. i went and i made a deposit and i just got every and then you wake up this morning and you think oh i gotta go do and you're like what what just happened there and then all of the stuff comes up right. in like in a nanosecond, right? right? Your father, your father's disappointment, exactly. your father's losses, lost exactly. the business, went from being yes. rich to I won't say the word, but you know, it just all comes up. Yeah. And then what do we do? Well, what do we do with that we, sludge? We we go into the sludge for a bit and then we beat ourselves up some more. There just seems to be this oh. this pattern we all follow, which is 
this thing shows up, whether it's, you know, somebody. So we'll walk with your example, you know, and there's so many. Each of us could pick a love relationship. It could be a coworker. It could be a situation where, you know, we want to be appreciated and we are continually with a certain kind of personality and energy. And I really like to call it energy rather than personality constantly are feeling diminished. Okay, so we've all had that feeling. Someone doesn't quite listen to us. Someone's not paying attention. And there's this terror, and it gets very tight in our chest. And we're going, you know, all of our inner child stuff flares up, all of our fears flare up, all the childhood stuff flares up. And we're thinking, good grief, you know, I'm old enough to not be reacting to all this. What's going on? The neat thing is that it's like another layer within ourselves surfacing to get cleared. If you just, you know, imagine that Buddhist example of the lotus and and the petals opening up, you're going deeper into that most beautiful part of the flower, which is you. And have you noticed that every time you go in and every time you clear it and you come on the other side, there is such a beauty, power and richness that you have for yourself and that you share with others. And, you know, part of today's show is really to get at what those wounds are. So when people call in today, yeah. you know, this is really about yeah. working to get some clearing. It is. Because, you know, Leslie, I think one of the things that I've learned from you, at just, just one of them, is that sometimes, you know, we need some help because we can't really see the yeah. deepness of the wound. We really can't. Right. Um, you know, it's kind of like getting cut. Right. We only see what's on the surface. We don't really see. Well, really, how deep did that go? What did it affect? And, you know, we take care of the surface part. Right. You know, we clean it. We put a Band-Aid on it. We do that. But then there's a mechanism that takes care of the deep part. But yet when it comes to our consciousness, we don't really know how to activate that. Isn't that what you do? Yeah, it is. It is what I do, because if you know, and I, too, had um, some faith based experiences um, early on in my walk. And there was a point at which you might be teaching and have some stature, and you didn't want to show people these things. What I've learned from these wonderful masters and archangels that I work with is that it is not you and your grand performance that's making this stuff happen. It is you allowing them to channel through you, heal you, and bring you to the next level. So therefore, there's suddenly this liberation to tell on yourself. What keeps us from telling on ourselves? Shame. Humiliation. What others will do when they hear and they go, well, if you're so spiritual, why can't you blah, 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 fill in the blank? And I was so freed up when I realized that these things are not about my performance and that when I'm operating as a channel and I'm letting source come through, it is such a powerful, marvelous healing. It's for you. It's for me. It's for anyone, anyone that's allowing themselves to be open to it. So that's what we're going to do on the show today is we're really going to allow ourselves to go into these things, tell on ourselves, open it up, put in that beautiful healing salve, bring ourselves up to a higher level and then see how we step into the events tomorrow. That's going to be the exciting thing. And I want to tell everyone, you know, what we've been able to do is open up the phone lines right away. So if there is something that you are stuck in, can't know how, you know, you don't know how to get beyond, you want to create something beautiful in your life, uh, this is a very, very powerful show as Leslie helps us get past these deep, deep, deep wounds. We have a toll-free number here if you want to get in the queue, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what the relationship between abundance and the soul's journey in this area. You know, what happens to us when we step into that place where we kind of get stuck? Why is Leslie calling this the next level of abundance, perhaps the one that we barely get to? And then we scratch our heads and wonder why our lives are just not turning out. Yeah, you know, that guy that didn't show up when he was supposed to, that girl that didn't show up, you know, that money that didn't show up, that job, that boss, you name it, the vacation, the car. I could go on and on. And one of the things I love about this, you know, yes, we all want to be, be still and, you know, let it flow. But we live in a world that manifests stuff. And if we weren't meant to manifest good, juicy stuff, we would not have it available. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back. Grateful patients have been saying it for 25 years. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. Dr. Thane of Wellness One of Bellevue has been named one of the nation's top chiropractors by the Consumers Research Council of America. And for good reason. 
He has helped his patients recover their energy and vitality after car accidents, sports injuries, herniated discs, fatigue due to stress, the list goes on. The website is bellevue.wellness1.net. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. That's bellevue.wellness1.net. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I know you've heard my friend and colleague, John G. Sutton, on my show. Well, guess what? He is now going to be a regular each month. I know many of you have experienced John live on air and how absolutely incredibly accurate he has been. So guess what? He's going to be joining us every month. For those of you that want to find out more about John and schedule your amazing session, go to psychicworld.net. Don't forget to stay tuned and tune in for John G. Sutton on the Dr. Pat Show every month. Always inspiring and uplifting, Brenda Thine spreads love and light wherever she goes. Enlightening, empowering, and encouraging readings, Brenda connects with your guides, angels, fairies, and loved ones who have crossed over to provide you with the highest guidance possible to enable you to live your highest truth and maximize your potential. Always light-filled, a session with Brenda will have you feeling wonderful, centered, and ready to take on anything. Schedule your session now at brendathine.com. That's brenda, T-H-Y-N-E dot com. Tired of traditional talk? People pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, as nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Welcome to Smile Big, nominee of Seattle's Top Dentist Awards. Here at Smile Big, we offer restorative, cosmetic, and preventative dentistry. Some of our regular dental services include tooth-colored fillings, crowns, bridges, implants, bleaching, cosmetic bonding, and complete smile restoration. Dr. James Rosenwald and Dr. Susan Aptoner won't be smiling until you are smiling. Call now to schedule a visit with Seattle's Top Dentists. Our number is 425-454-4040. You can even visit our website at smilebig.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, for more information about us, go to transformationtalkradio.com. Go ahead. Check it out. Lots of really juiciness going on there. Or you could go to the drpatshow.com to find out about Sheer Alchemy, to find out about Leslie. One of the things that I'd love to invite all of you to do is to go to her website. We're going to make that super easy for you, and you're going to be able to find out of her upcoming events. Now, for those of you that are listening across the country, you know, find out where she's going to be and check it out. Stop in and say hi. So if you go to her website, lesliefontaine.com, and I want to just spell it F O N. T E Y N E dot com, Leslie, L E S L I E, Fontaine dot com. Check it out. Uh, and we'll be able to, uh, you know, you'll be able to take a look. She's going to be in Portland coming up here real soon. She's going to be in Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati. So, yeah, she's out and about. Why? Because she's on a mission. It's on a mission to help people live their most juicy life. And that's what we're talking about today. You know, we're talking about. Uh, core wounds, you know, the next level of abundance. How do we heal them? Leslie, before we go to the phones, and we're taking your call uh, right now for those of you out there to want to get some clearing done. You don't really you don't really understand why things are just not working out for you. Or maybe they are working out for you and you want more. You don't want more of the juiciness. You're in deep gratitude, but you're like, you know what? There's something else I need to be doing. I need a little help. Maybe I'm stuck. Maybe I'm not. But let's get the juices flowing. One eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. One eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. You know, before we jump uh, and go to the phones, Leslie. Uh, before the break, I talked about you know the relationship between some of these deep wounds and our ability to manifest, our ability to step into abundance. Right. And a lot of times we don't see it. No, no, we don't. Um, we encounter again new parts of ourselves that we weren't conscious of so remember that when we're starting to clear a lot of us are starting at the conscious level we're very aware 
of our housing condition, our job condition, our ability to put food on the table, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We take care of that, and as you so well said, the old problem is gone, and now we have a new opportunity. And work clothes is what I like to say. And so here it is. It showed up, and now your soul is longing for greater. Well, the soul is always tied to unconditional love, unlimited abundance, unlimited health. So a new bunch of stuff shows up for you to clear. So let's say you've drawn in your partner but you keep or your uh, work environment, but you keep in, drawing in those that don't listen to you, diminish you, kind of don't appreciate you the way you want to. So we turn inward and we go, where am I doing that to myself? What voices do I have? What contracts and agreements are at work within my field right now that say it's okay to dismiss me, it's okay to diminish me, it's okay not to pay me enough, it's okay – You know, all that kind of stuff. We want to shift the agreements and bring them to a higher level. That's the part of our core wounds that is still driving the bus. So we're grateful when they show up in our face. This is an opportunity. Do they feel good? No. But when they show up, it's like, do I want to release this? That becomes our next tricky challenge, right? We'll find some things that we're afraid that if we let go of that, we might not have tools for the next part of the journey. So it is new. It's always new, but we're bringing in new partners. You know, when you first get someone that treats you really nicely after being around people that have treated you badly, your first reaction is, what's wrong with you? We don't recognize it. We don't understand it. Some of you have been blessed over and over and over again, and you haven't recognized it. Well, and then we don't recognize uh, what we were talking about, What you know, once we actually do have some shifting going on. We don't recognize it. We show up with another problem and we don't think, okay, the reason I'm showing up with another problem is because, you know what, that thing that used to be my problem, that is not my problem anymore. And it's important for us to remember that we're moving. You know, we're in movement. We're in motion. We're healing. And these are layers. Uh, Mr. Benny, let's go to the phones. Sure. We'll uh, travel over to Redmond. We have Marina joining us. Hi, Marina. Mr. Benny, Hey, Marina, you need to turn off your radio, please. No, yeah, sorry about that. Thank you. Yes, hi. Good morning. Good um, morning. Yes, I, hi, Leslie. Hi, hi Dr. Pat. Um, I've been very stuck here in my job. Ah. Um, and um, it's been like that for, I guess, a number of years. Okay. But really, it's just plateaued right now. And what does stuck mean? Pardon? What does stuck mean to you? What does it feel like? Uh, just... I just don't know where to turn to, like what um, what to do. Like what, what are you to wanting? Um, I've, I, what I think I want to do is actually um, do something completely different to what, I, what I'm doing right now, which would be um, like looking maybe to be a personal assistant, that type of work. Okay. So when it comes up for you right now, so I'm getting some solar plexus issues with you and some heart space issues. So when it comes up for you that, okay, today I'm choosing to step into the role of personal assistant. Tell me what happens in your field right now, because I'm feeling like there's a little holdback. Um, yes, there is a little holdback because I'm not sure what I'm getting into. Like I have one idea of what it is and what, what the actual position could be. It could be totally different. Okay, and so I'm do just, you hear? So I'm just going to stop you sometimes because we're on the radio, not because I'm trying to cut you off, so I hope you know that. Um, so when you feel like you're not sure, do you hear that victim part of you? Do you hear that part that's at the mercy of something else? Like, in other words, if I said to you, Marina, I want you to choose what the next thing is. I want you to design it. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What are you doing? Who are you with? Who are, who's around you? Tell, um, tell well, me what, what starts you, happening. When you ask those, when you ask those questions, yeah, tell me what happens uh, within yourself as it's as you reflect on that. I can create um, this. I, uh, it's fear. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's pretty mm. deep in there. So we want to go back. So just so you know, this is old old core wound stuff, all right? This is what we've been talking about. So this is your adventure now. You're now on the path. Congratulations. <laughs> so here you are, and you're about to create this thing. So I'm getting some issues in your throat space, which is communication, and also your solar plexus, okay? There's like a lot of fear about fully stepping into your power. When we set an intention... We don't have to do anything. We are just merely shifting our energy, all right? So I want you to work with me right now, and I want you to just, within yourself, 
shift into stepping into that new role, stepping into that happiness, stepping into that position, seeing yourself energetically with the people that you're with, noticing what you're doing. So we want to lift out some of those agreements you have that you can't create what you want. You can't be what you want. You're not good enough. A lot going on in there about value and worth. And that you have to. There's a lot of rules from your family, so we just want to release some of those out. So I want you to go with me in this by indicating in your spirit that you are willing to shift these old rules. The problem sometimes we encounter with shifting rules is we're afraid we won't know what the next rules are. So if you release the rules that you have to be absolutely certain that you can't create what you desire, that you won't be able to take care of yourself, that you're not strong enough, just letting all that go. So your heart space is panicking a bit, and all we've Mm -hmm. done is indicate a willingness. Do you feel that? Do you feel what's happening in you? It's okay that it's a panic. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes we get afraid of the panic, like it's almost going to kill us, right? Like we're going to make a horrible mistake. We think panic means mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I do. Do you feel that? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to be sweet with yourself a bit and go, you know what? I'm going to take care of you, Marina. Mm. Okay, look at you. Your energy is really shifting now. I'm going to take care of you, Marina. I just It's coming all the way through my field right now. Your heart space is still holding on tight. That's your inner child, which I see her. She's about three years old, holding on to the leg of mom, just really in a panic. And this is where we had some early betrayals, okay, early abandonments. You are now old enough and capable of taking care of yourself, and your judgment is good, Marina. So what's coming to you about what to do? I want you to really clue into your intuitive self right now. What's coming to you? What do you need to do? Um, um, Just sit with it. It's okay. Just sit with it. Just allow it to come I need, to you. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I need to be more open to different things, different different types of work than what I'm used so to. So you can open your spirit first, right? You're opening yourself wide right now, really open as wide as you can, almost like you're, you know, the way Superman would tear that white shirt off and he had the Superman outfit underneath. Just tear it open and be as wide as you can be with unlimited um, options, okay? And now we want to draw in the energies that are a match for you. And if you're feeling like you're getting same old, same old, you say, you know what, I release my agreement with that and I forgive myself for having drawn that in the past it's Mm. done okay yep so here's the thing we've done this i want you to do this a few more times today but then what i want you to do is i want you to write out and this is hard for you because of the inner child that's sort of screaming right now okay so just calm her down tell her you still love her okay but the important thing is for you to write out what it is you're desiring to draw in And then every part of you that's fighting saying, I release the agreement that says I can't have that. And I can work more deeply with you or talk further about some of this. But practice this today because I'd really like to see what happens. And I hope you'll write in the next few days and let me know because stuff can really shift, Marina, without you even picking up the telephone. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will certainly... um be working on this yeah today and then re- sure. reach out to me later i know this sounds like you haven't done anything and i haven't done anything but i'm telling you the energy shifted big time mm-hmm. but what i'd like you to do is in three days from now i want you to write me and i want you to tell me when you did this and you started moving what happened you're going to see some little things and big things i promise you that i what? will certainly do that okay okay and remember to breathe you got to take a minute here to breathe okay just take it. Take a second. I, I know you're holding your breath. I can feel it. Am I right? Huh? Yes, you're cool. I know you're holding your breath, girl. Come on, help me out here. Take a big breath, everybody. Breathe in and breathe out. We <sighs> get so afraid. I didn't of the hear her fear do it. And I didn't hear her do it. Did, yeah. did I hear you do it? Come on, let's give us a big telephone breathe there on the other end of the phone. Come on. Oh, that feels better. Dang, I feel good all about that. 
<laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job. We're taking your calls right here. 1-800-930-2819. Leslie is taking your calls. We're going to try to do the best we can to get you in here. We'll be right back after the shorty. Get sophisticated with David and Philip Zarza. David and Philip touch on topics such as human potential, spirituality, pop culture, and purposeful living. Experience an insightful reading from David on what the universe has in store for you. Or reconnect with a departed loved one. Philip can look into an issue or anything else you may be dealing with. Go to GetSophisticated.com. That's S-O-P-H-I-S-T-I-G-A-Y-T-E-D.com. Or call 206-420-8660. Wondering? how to make more confident strategy for retirement? Do you know that there are potentially more than 12 things to consider when planning for or approaching retirement? Then stop wondering and attend the retirement seminar hosted by Jeff Packman, financial advisor with Packman Brown and Associates, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated in Bellevue, Washington. Call 425-372-4813 for a formal invitation to the next seminar on November 5th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Light hors d'oeuvres and beverages will be provided. This is an informational event. There is no cost or obligation. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step -step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you're ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com. Or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Get insider knowledge about everything that is going on at Transformation Talk Radio. Go to TransformationTalkRadio.com and enter your email to receive our newsletter. Stay updated on new hosts, inspiring guests, and good news articles from around the world. We look forward to having you join our community. Would you like to be a question with anything that comes up in your body or mind? Would you like to become totally aware and begin to function as the conscious being you truly are? Join Access Certified Facilitator Glenna Rice every month for a live teleclass where you can ask all of your questions and learn to create change in any aspect of your life. Visit GlennaRice.com today to learn more and don't miss the next call. Join the questionable conversation today at GlennaRice.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Yeah, I love this. I love what we're talking about here today. Leslie Fontaine of Sheer Alchemy joining me here today, healing the core wounds, the next level of abundance. And for those of you out there that are thinking, you know, how am I going to what are they what are these two talking about today? I'll tell you what we're talking about. You know, we pick these topics because, uh, you know, I'll speak for Leslie a minute because we're like real people and we go through the same things you guys go through. I think that we get so excited to share what we've learned. I mean, that's why I do what I do. You know, I love being a student of life. And so, we, you know, for me, I don't want you to have to go through the years it took me to learn that there is a way to get someone like Leslie to help to get, get these wounds moving. You got to get them moving. Uh, for those of you who want to find out more about Leslie, go to her website, lesliefontaine.com. It's L E S L I E. F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E dot -E com or go to the Dr. Pat show and just click on our on our banner. You'll see her right there. Sheer Alchemy. Uh, and today we are taking your calls um, because, look, 
Happiness is our birthright. Not happiness once in a while, but happiness is our birthright. And so we get to choose. But if we don't have the tools to choose, then we lose. Oh, Benny, that was pretty good. Ooh, Wasn't that deep. good? That was deep. Oh, my gosh. Um, Leslie, you ready to go to phones? I am. I am. Ivy from Bothell. Welcome to the show. What's Hi, up? Hi, Ivy. Hi. So How glad are you? to have you. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Dr. Pat. I can't wait to help you out here today. What can we do for you? Well, I know I need to get clear about what I want, but what if I want everything? Yes. <laughs> so yes. That's a no, yes. That's a yes. I'm liking that's that. A yes. I think Pat's got to chime that's in on yes. this one. Pat's saying it's a don't, yes. Don't say but. <laughs> Don't don't say no, don't say anything else. Yeah, so you're already hearing the rules, right, Ivy? Right off the bat, yeah. you said that, and you feel them all. There's a lot in your um, heart space, throat space. Were you like a kind of a coerced child growing up? Um, I used to try to fly under the radar. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But so, are you done with that? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what you're saying when I when you say yes to that? No. (laughs) Okay, isn't that awesome? So here's the part about bravery. Sometimes when we're walking in spirit, we don't understand what we that what we want is this awesome opportunity to step into all that we are. So if you have the history of flying under the radar, typically to get along with people because you don't want discord, you don't want other people upset with you, you don't want to step into things that, you know, maybe you're not going to be able to do absolutely perfectly, et cetera, et cetera. It could be a long list. So here you are, and you've just said, I want it all, and I'm okay with not flying under the radar anymore. I want to step into more. So I want you to look in your field about what's going on as you say that. So there's a giddy part, but there's a little, you know, anxiety, right? Right. Yeah. So this is your soul's gift to you today. This is part of your path to step into all. So when, so I want you to walk through this with me now. Say, as you had, yes, I want it all. I want, yes, it I want it all. And so I want you to just begin feeling like you're drawing it in, like you're picking apples from the ripest tree, just pulling it in from everywhere, just drawing in. The sun's kissing your face. It's just this amazing, amazing time. You're just bringing it all. You're laughing. You're dropping them. It's all. And then there's these rules about, well, you've taken more than your share. There's a lot of that going on. Okay. So the thing is, Ivy, you're not selfish. When we draw in abundance like this, we draw it in to share, to give. There's always more. There's not this subtraction thing that goes, well, if I take all that, where where will I store it? So that's that's like a not even a problem. So just keep going with what's happening within you. Tell me what's coming to you that you want to draw in. What's the all? What are the first things that are coming to you? Oh, a job with financial abundance, ability to travel and take vacation and uh just the ease and comfort of settling in somewhere. And then on the other hand, I don't know. I'd like to be this entrepreneur. Uh-huh. So what is the job entrepreneur conflict? Having the security, I guess. Security. What's security? The base. What does Financial that mean? security. What does that mean? What does having money mean? That Then you can what? Then you have what? What do you think you have? The food, shelter, clothing. Okay. The basic needs. All right. The basic needs are covered. Okay. So, mm-hmm. are you are your basic needs covered now? No, I'm unemployed. Okay, but are <laughs> your basic terminated. needs covered right now? Hmm? Or do right you have now, food, yeah. clothing, and shelter? You do have those. Yeah. Okay. So it's deeper than that. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. There's mm-hmm. some. Uh, there's. I'm not going to say pride or ego necessarily, but there's some. Um, you know, some ownership, some desire to create your own right now, and there's some inadequacy that's coming up in your field, right? Has this been going on a long time? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's kind of torn you down a bit, right? Just made you feel a little less than and all that. And I'm just seeing a lot of other energies around you, um, whether they're physical or not or passed on, um, just a lot that kind of are reinforcing what you can and can't do. So what's happened is your world's gotten very constricted, not just flying under the radar, but you're doing, you're, you're shrinking your world and you're shrinking your options. Okay. So right now go into your solar plexus with me here. We're going to bring in some masters and archangels. We're going to just open your solar plexus a mile wide right now. Okay. 
This is your power center. I'm just going to clear out some of the debris in that, some of the old agreements, some of the contracts, old stuff to be less than, to not step into your power. So there's some opportunities that have come up and you wondered if you were good enough for it. So what if you say, I am, and I draw them to me, and it's not just me going after it. I can bring in my team. There's just a lot of constriction going up on it, up in your seventh right now. And your seventh is where you get your, um, you know, kind of like your God connection, your messaging. Sometimes we have old rules that don't work anymore. So some of the who do you, who do you think you are, all that kind of stuff. What am I talented in? What can I do? What can't I do? All that. So here's the challenge. I'm going to ask you. We're doing a wash right now through your field. I want you to agree right now to release all of those restrictions. Release all of them. And just allow them to flow out. So your solar plexus is a little nervous right now. Just, just going to release the agreement to hold on to that stuff. Okay. And now we want to bring in the options. So what are some of the options that have presented this week, Ivy, that have kind of made your heart happy? Um, one job I applied for, I was thinking I could move up there and live mm-hmm. at the beach and, mm-hmm. and have a new place. And yeah. And what did you like about it other than the beach? Did you like the work? Uh, it was for the library system. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's a place I'd like to get involved with. Okay. Um, so if you really open your heart space right now, it's a little tight, like I'm not sure I can get what I want. That's one thing coming up for sure. So we're never going to let go of that. Yes, I can get what I want. I can draw it in. I can bring it in. I am talented, able, awesome, fabulous. So there's still a fear in your power center about fully stepping into your power. Mm-hmm. So I want you, if you can, after we go off the line, to really address this part of you. I don't mean attack it. I don't mean beat it up. And I don't mean shame yourself. I want you to go into all the fears that show up about what happens when you step into your power and you step into your desire. There's some bad messaging that comes up for you. And then after you release, after you identify what those are, I want you to ask yourself if you're willing to let those go. Because a big part of stepping into the next level is the willingness to release the ties See, these things have taken care of you up until now. You don't get ashamed. No one rejects you. No one hurts you. So what we're doing now is saying I'm willing to trust that the universe is going to take care of me. So I want you to write all this out, and then if you want to correspond later, I'd love to know what comes up for you in the next few days over these things as you choose to let them go. Because sometimes we don't let go of stuff. Because we're afraid of what's on the other side. And I, and I know how to follow rules, but yeah. I don't know how to break the rules. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we're just going to release, we're creating new ones. You know, I love what Pat said earlier about, you know, we have a new set of problems or a new set of opportunities, right? So you've right. just done a shift. You may not recognize it right now, but you have. And mm-hmm. so I want you to write these out, and then I want you to check with yourself and go, what part of me is holding on and what part of me is willing to let go? And this is going to let you go from some of the double binds. That's what's kept you unemployed right now. You, you know how we can say we want the beach and the mountains at the same time? There's some of that going on with you. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I want you to write it out for yourself, and then I want you to write mm-hmm. me and tell me what happens in the next few days, okay? Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. You, you bet. Yeah. All right. Thank you. We're going to take a short break, everyone. When we come back. Uh, Leslie's going to share some tips with us about how to create the healing, how to create the healing, and then how to notice when things do shift, how to to pay attention. You know, the thing I want to say to everybody is, look, it's that Spice Girls song. Do you really, really want it? (laughs) Do you really, really want it? And to what length will you go to have it? Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. How would you like increased health and vitality? 
How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. In retirement, will you have enough money to live life on your terms? Everyone has retirement questions, so ask AmeriPrize Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman, Financial Advisor, today at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601-108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The competent retirement approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., member of FINRA and SIPC. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into to help. Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. Are you looking for more balance and direction in your financial life? We all have questions. When can I retire? When do I want to retire? Will I run out of money? Is there a better way? All are valid questions, no matter what your goals. Jeff Packman, financial advisor with Packman Brown and Associates, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated in Bellevue, Washington, is hosting an evening to address these questions and more on November 5th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Call 425-372-4813 for a formal invitation. Hors d'oeuvres, beverages, and parking will be provided. This is an informational event. There is no cost or obligation. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. I tell you, let's save our souls. I want to save my soul. I don't think my soul thinks it needs saving. I think that's me projecting that it needs saving. I think my soul thinks it's really kind of cool, having fun. It's a cool soul. You know, it's it's really in the groove. But it, it doesn't matter what I believe or not believe. The question is, how am I going to show up in the world? And then what am I going to understand about the places in my life that do need some healing? You know, today, uh, Leslie and and I are talking about healing the core wounds, and there's a reason for it. And you call this the next level of abundance. Let's talk about why you did that, because I think you and I might know, because we were talking story during the break about stuff. But, you know, it's got to be a next level or else it's not going to be a next level. Right. Well, you know, we can want stuff all day long. But sometimes we don't know that it's a hungry ghost that's talking to us about a deeper need. So if we follow the string, which is what I like to call it, and we go, well, why do I want that? Well, I want the house because then it'll make me feel safe. What is safety to you? Well, safety means that I've got four walls and it protects me from X. Well, 
what part of me is feeling like I can't protect myself? You always want to go all the way down to the core. Ultimately, all of us have a core wound of betrayal. We all do. And abandonment. And I don't think any of us escapes that process, that part of the journey. So, so much of our lives, whether it's finding partners, jobs, homes, you name it, is to fill that void that we think we have. And that's the key. I think Pat was alluding to that about the soul is complete. The soul has no lack. It's not lost. It's not confused. It's 100% abundant, healthy, has all the love in the world that one could ever have, could be fully satisfied. Even when we're finding a mate, we're not wanting that mate to meet a need. The cool thing about a mate and the opportunity of that or work or anything else is to bring forward to us the things that we learn to meet for ourselves. We have companionship. We have closeness. We have connection. There's nothing more wonderful than meeting soulmates in all parts of our lives that we totally connect with, but they're also quite challenging. So the neat part of following your soul's journey is that you expand. And as you expand, you have greater needs. This or something better, something higher, something more, something greater. I already know I can create the stuff. I already know I can manifest it. But now I'm really wanting to become a servant. I'm wanting to um, create opportunity. I'm wanting to use this abundance to bless the world. So that's what the soul path becomes about. Well, and, you know, part of this is, you know, living life. Living life, having a life, you have a life. You wake up one day, you're you're in this world, and now you're breathing, right? You're hungry, you cry. You're either going to get food or you're not. If you get food, not going to have a wound. If you don't get food, something starts to fester up inside of you, right? And we exactly. go on and on and on about the wounds that happen to us. What What is it that we can know at the time of a wound, Leslie, that we might be able to do so that, you know, we get the energy moving right away? Well, when you meet, you know, let's say you're in a relationship and that relationship blows up. That relationship is blowing up. Now, are you doing a the, reading on me right now? No, here about I, my past? I, I didn't because think I, I was. I think you might be. <laughs> but you, you are encountering a very deep wound. It's this moment, this opportunity that is being presented by the situation. I call it same energy, different outfit. Are we done yet? Are we finished? And if you really check in with yourself, there's parts of us that are not done. And we want to think we are. We want to talk like a grown-up. It's like that 8-year-old that wants to pretend he's 25. You know, it's just not the case. So we have these parts in ourselves that maybe we came into grown-up outfits, but there's parts of us that are still stuck at 8 when we seriously got hurt. and And we've made vows. I never, ever, ever will allow someone to do that to me again. Uh, Okay, that's a victim wound. That is something where you were powerless, you were a child, now you're an adult. Do you want to heal that place? Do you want to know what unconditional love is like bringing it into that place? How does that change what you manifest? Well, you quit manifesting the jerks. You quit manifesting the people (laughs) that are difficult for you at work. It stops happening. And then you start getting grateful for the jerks because you go, wow, Thanks for pointing this out in me. I don't want this agreement anymore, but I want to see the part of me that is in agreement with that energy. Where am I a jerk to myself? Yes. What a great way to end this show. Oh, have we taught, have we come up with a title? For the, next show? <laughs> the jerk within. I love oh, it. I love it. I do too. But you know, that, that is really the key. I mean, this is a powerful show in that, you know, when we get to look the what, what you did today with the folks that called in was very, very gentle with them was gentle. And that's the thing we don't really know how to do with ourselves. When we really do look for that jerk within, you know, we, we look at something that we detest. If we were to look at it in a slightly different way, so that we can turn over the the lives that we think 10 times worse than anybody around us thinks. When we release that fear of, you know, holding on to the old stuff, the bad stuff, we then have to own the next part of our path. And that's the challenge for us. And that's the opportunity. And it can be scary, but, you know, we do need to be gentle with ourselves, just like you said. Hone it and own it. 
Leslie Fontaine, everybody. Thank you all for tuning us in. We're going to take a short break. Go to the website, lesliefontaine.com. And as a matter of fact, you're going to be able to catch her at different events, different venues. Please check out her event schedule. And please make sure that those of you out there, you know, today on radio, we can only do just a couple little short, short things. Um, Please make sure you put Leslie on your calendar to experience a full, full session and time with her. Get some insight. Really, really want the change. You got to want it, everybody. Really, really want it. And then do what you need to do to make it happen. We'll see you next time. Hold on. We're going to take a shorty. We'll be right back. Galeo's Cafe Tip of the Week. I'd like to share with you a recipe directly from Galeo's Cafe website. Try this oriental chicken salad. Slice a boneless, skinless chicken breast. Put it in a baggie. Pour in about two tablespoons of sesame miso dressing. Close the bag and shake it to coat it. Marinate in fridge for about maybe 30 minutes. Then fire up the grill. Grill the chicken until done. About eight minutes on each side. While the chicken is grilling, put salad greens on a plate. Remain. Chinese cabbage, cilantro, whatever you want, and top with shredded carrots and almonds or cashews. Slice the cooked chicken breast and put it on top of the greens. Add crunchy rice noodles and top with more Galeo sesame miso dressings and enjoy. For more information, go to order your dressing today at galeoscafe.com. That's G-A-L-E-O-S cafe.com. Remember, shipping is free. Grateful patients have been saying it for 25 years. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. Dr. Thane of Wellness One of Bellevue has been named one of the nation's top chiropractors by the Consumers Research Council of America, and for good reason. He has helped his patients recover their energy and vitality after car accidents, sports injuries, herniated discs, fatigue due to stress, the list goes on. The website is bellevue.wellness1.net. When in pain, see Dr. Thane. That's bellevue.wellness1.net. Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I know you've heard my friend and colleague, John G. Sutton, on my show. Well, guess what? He is now going to be a regular each month. I know many of you have experienced John live on air and how absolutely incredibly accurate he has been. So guess what? He's going to be joining us every month. For those of you that want to find out more about John and schedule your amazing session, go to Psychic world.net don't forget to stay tuned and tune in for john g sutton on the dr pat show every month always inspiring and uplifting brenda thine spreads love and light wherever she goes enlightening empowering and encouraging readings brenda connects with your guides angels fairies and loved ones who have crossed over to provide you with the highest guidance possible to enable you to live your highest truth and maximize your potential always light filled a session with brenda will have you feeling wonderful centered and ready to take on any Thing. Schedule your session now at brendathine.com. That's brenda, T-H-Y-N-E.com. Tired of traditional talk? People pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, as nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Call the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T-H-E-D-R-Pat-Show.com for listening times in your area.
Welcome to Smile Big, nominee of Seattle's Top Dentist Awards. Here at Smile Big, we offer restorative, cosmetic, and preventative dentistry. Some of our regular dental services include tooth-colored fillings, crowns, bridges, implants, bleaching, cosmetic bonding, and complete smile restoration. Dr. James Rosenwald and Dr. Susan Aptoner won't be smiling until you are smiling. Call now to schedule a visit with Seattle's Top Dentists. Our number is 425-454-4040. You can even visit our website at smilebig.com.